and welcome to BK History. Today's episode is on the Abyssinian Crisis. By the end of the video, you will learn the following. To understand what happened in the Abyssinian Crisis, and to understand how the League of Nations dealt with the crisis. Now, in the last video, we learned about the Manchurian Crisis. And this is when Japan invaded Manchuria, which was a part of China. The League of Nations slowly investigated the situation and told Japan to leave Manchuria. However, Japan simply ignored the League and left the League of Nations. This damaged the League, showing how weak it was in dealing with conflicts involving major powers. Now, a few years later, the League had to deal with another major dispute. This was to be known as the Abyssinian Crisis. This was when Mussolini, the leader of Italy, invaded Abyssinia, now Ethiopia, in 1935-6. But before we go into detail, we need to look at the background of the event. Now there was history between Italy and Abyssinia before the crisis. There were numerous reasons why Italy wanted to invade Abyssinia, but we're going to concentrate on four reasons why. Reason 1. Abyssinia was the only country in Africa that was not taken over by a European power. Italy held countries next to it, such as Eritrea and in Italian Somaliland, which made, it, uh, which made Abyssinia an easier country to invade. Reason 2. Abyssinia had a loss of fertile land, minerals and possessed a weak army. Mussolini would be able to make more money from Abyssinia if he invaded. Reason 3. In 1896, Italian troops tried to invade Abyssinia. But Italy suffered an embarrassing defeat by Abyssinia. As a result, Mussolini wanted revenge for this humiliating defeat. And four, Mussolini wanted Italy to become great again. He wanted Italy to restore the glory of the Roman Empire. So Mussolini was looking for an excuse to invade Abyssinia. And it happened. In December 1934, there was a dispute between Italian soldiers and Abyssinia soldiers. As a result, Mussolini prepared for an invasion for Abyssinia. The Abyssinian Emperor, Halle Selassie, appealed to the League of Nations for help. So how did the League of Nations respond? Well, two members of the Council, Britain and France, failed to take the situation seriously. They were desperate to have good relations with Mussolini. With an aggressive Adolf Hitler becoming Führer, meaning leader, of Germany in 1934, Britain and France saw Mussolini as a potential ally against Hitler. So in September 1935, the League reported that neither side could be held responsible. The League put forward a plan that would give Mussolini some, some of Abyssinia, but he rejected it. So in May 1936, Mussolini had completed his, his invasion of Abyssinia. This was a clear-cut case of a large, powerful country attacking a small one. The League was designed to solve these kinds of disputes, but it failed. So why did the League of Nations fail in the Abyssinian Crisis? There are many reasons why the League failed, but in this video, we're going to explain four reasons. Reason 1. The League's powers were ineffective. The League were going to ban oil, oil exports to Italy, which would have made Italy's invasion more difficult. But the League feared that the USA, who were not part of the League, would continue to supply oil to Italy. Also, 30,000 British coal miners would lose their jobs because of the ban. So the League didn't go through with it. Reason 2. The Suez Canal The Suez Canal was owned by Britain and France. It was Italy's main route to access Abyssinia. Unlike the Manchurian crisis, the incident was relatively close to Britain and France. Britain and France could have blocked the Suez Canal, stopping the evasion. But they feared war would happen with Italy. Also, it would affect Britain and France economically, 
as it would stop their trade. So as a result, they kept it open for Italy, allowing Mussolini to complete his invasion. Reason three, the whole of our pact. This was a secret deal between Britain, France and Italy. This was being discussed behind the league's back. The pact would, uh, was to give Mussolini two thirds of Abyssinia and in return, he would call off his invasion. However, when details of this plan was leaked, it proved quite disastrous for the League. This was happening when the League were discussing oil sanctions towards Italy, making the League look weak. Also, Britain and France were both members of the Council. They were going against the League to protect their own self-interests. And reason four, Adolf Hitler. Hitler saw how poorly the League dealt with the Abyssinian crisis. Hitler saw this as an opportunity to be aggressive, as nobody wanted a war. The League of Nations' poor actions allowed Hitler to become more aggressive and confident. So in simple words, the Abyssinian crisis was a complete disaster for the League of Nations. After failing to deal with two major crises, the League had no power and no credibility left.